Hey there everybody, Matt O'Ree back here with you once again. Welcome back to Mob on TV, the official YouTube channel of the Matt O'Ree Band. Hey, if you haven't clicked subscribe yet and join the Mob family here on YouTube, please do so now. Also, hit that little bell icon down below. That way you'll get all the updates every time we upload new videos. And thirdly, if you dig this kind of stuff, amps, pedals, guitars, gear, speakers, anything, just give us some thumbs up on the videos. All these things keep helping me to make more videos and bringing them to you. So we're back with the gear tutorial today, and as I promised, a really awesome rack piece, which I haven't done any of this. All of our episodes in uh, the gear tutorial season three has all been standalone pedals. So why a rack unit, you probably are asking? Well, it's none other than the Korg SDD3000. This is a really famous rack. They only made this in two years, 1982 to 83. And uh, the biggest user of this particular device is the Edge from U2. I believe also um, Neil Young used it for a little bit too. It's, it's definitely a studio uh, device to be in a studio, but it can be used with an amplifier straight into the input. For those of you who aren't familiar with rack gear, uh, rack equipment is um, not most of the time not designed to come out of the output of the rack into the input of an amplifier. It usually doesn't work out that well. Uh, more better to be plugged into the effects loop. But train wreck equipment has no effects loop, has no reverb, has no channel switching of any kind. Kenny wanted to keep the circuit as short as possible f to gain the ultimate tone, and I think he did that. So, but this particular rack unit actually works really well because of the preamp section in it. And that's part of the magic of this particular rack. And we know that the Edge used these, these particular racks with AC30s, I'm sure, I'm sure of it. Um, the delay is a digital delay, but a very unique sounding one at that. Me being an Echoplex fan, I instantly fell in love with the sound of this, even though it's digital. But being from the earlier 80s, it's the preamp plus the sound of the digital delay sound. So we're going to find out what it can do. Uh, same deal, 61 Strat, uh, R9 Les Paul. Let's jump into it. Here we go.
So what did you think of it? Uh, I only gave you the one setting with this particular unit because I'm not that versed in it. Again, this is my buddy Rob's. Thank you again, Rob, for lending this to me and trusting me with this. And his is in absolute pristine condition. And the other ones I've seen for sale, uh, they're a bit beat up. But um, I know this has been serviced by Slimmons, which is in Dallas, Texas, which is the only place around that actually services uh, the SDD 3000. So the combination, again, of that preamp section and the tone of the, of the delay is very spatial, very euphoric, uh, pretty amazing from a digital device. Uh, I have to put this on my shopping cart list of things to acquire in the uh, months and years to come. So I love the sound of it. I think it's fantastic. I understand why the Edge uses it. He pretty much made a whole career with this particular device, and it really does sound fantastic. So uh, thank you to Korg for making such a great device back then. I don't know why they discontinued making them. Maybe it was just not cost efficient to continue to keep making them, but they are out there for sale, and they do sound fantastic. So check out our website, mattlereband.com. Any thoughts or suggestions, don't be afraid to email me at info at mattore.com. Thank you for tuning in this week. Uh, I got another week coming up with a bunch more pedals coming in. Uh, we're going to have some fun times and some fun videos yet to come. Uh, stay safe, stay healthy. Thank you, Rob, uh, for your help with this channel, too, as well. And thank you to my friend John for turning me on to the Archer and some other electroharmonic stuff, too, as well. So uh, stay safe, stay healthy, the usual thing. Uh, we'll see you soon. Thank you. Thank you.